just finished lunch. It is the second day of the honeymoon. Yesterday we landed in the morning around 10 and then we went to the hotel, just, you know, got unpacked a little bit, changed, kind of just started wandering around. Yesterday was like Ride London, like the London Marathon or something similar to that. And so a lot of the streets were blocked off, which at first was like really fun, but then after a while, it just kind of became annoying to like keep having to like walk around the barricades. But the really nice thing is that we did get to see some things with like the streets being all closed. And so I do feel like we got really good shots. It was also really nice yesterday. It was very warm. It was so sunny. It was just really, really nice. And then we went to dinner at this Sunday roast place in Covent Gardens with actually the best man from our wedding. He like is always traveling. He loves London. He's been here so many times. He's currently living in Europe. And so he was like on his way back. And so he just kind of, you know, took us out to dinner. We had a great time, you know, catching up on the wedding. And then we went back home and got an early night because Honestly, it was like we slept on the plane and we did get like a decent amount of sleep But you know, it's like it's not the same as like if you're like lying in bed, you know, being like fully relaxed Really good night sleep where we woke up this morning and we packed, checked out of the hotel, left our luggage there And went to go see the Tower of London Honestly, to me, the Tower of London is somewhere that you can probably spend the whole day in We, in my opinion, only spent like a few hours just because we had other things we needed to do today In my opinion, that like was not nearly enough for if you like the history and everything behind it It's just honestly like really really fun i love seeing it i do feel like you know seeing the crown jewels and a lot of the stolen jewels i will say hits me the wrong way it was like the same feeling as like seeing buckingham palace it's, like it's super cool you know that like the king and queen lived there and all that but then it's also like you know it's like the symbol of colonialism it was fun seeing the history at the tower of london but you know the stolen jewels are a whole different story but we just finished lunch at the gordon ramsay place and we're gonna go and just really quickly see St. Paul's Cathedral, which is like nearby here. And we're gonna go get on a train and we're gonna go to Paris. Spending tonight in Paris. Tomorrow, the full day is gonna be going around Paris. And then the next day, we're going to Disneyland Paris, which is so exciting. And then we're taking a train from Paris to Barcelona, just so we can kind of relax, also see everything, you know, through the countryside, which people said was supposed to be nice. And then we'll be in Barcelona. So that's kind of like the next few days, but. This is my check-in for now. We are on our way to go check out St. Paul's Cathedral.
day in Paris. We are taking the train from Paris to Barcelona today. We spent like two days here. So the first full day of walking around Paris and everything. And then we also did Disneyland Paris yesterday. But then we also got that night on the train. So we got like two and a half days here. I honestly feel like we've had such a short, but honestly really, really fun london and paris experience it was definitely so much walking though not just because we went to disneyland paris but also just like because we were seeing so much and paris and london are like actually walking cities honestly i i think i loved london exactly as much as i think i thought i would it like the history there all the things that i've always wanted to see like I think it lived up to my very high expectations and I loved it and I didn't have that many expectations coming in for Paris just because I don't know you should kind of hear about how like oh French people are rude it's kind of dirty but I don't know if it's because of the Olympics or whatever but honestly I found the city to be a lot cleaner than New York is and the people weren't mean they felt to me like European New Yorkers, you know, just people who are just trying to get on with their day. And I also feel like to some extent, like language differences also does make a difference um, in like niceties and formalities. Like you can kind of do that with like the British, but you know, like when there's a language barrier, that's, you know, there's only so far you can, you can get to, um, which is like the other thing, you know, like a lot of people here have like spoken English to us, considering that French was like the main language used in all the European courts for most of history. It's, you know, kind of crazy to think about how like everyone now knows English. Anyways, we are headed over to the train station. All of our stuff is packed up. We got our two suitcases, the duffel and the backpack, and I'm leaving out the Star Wars shirt that I got yesterday. I really also love Disneyland Paris. I have a separate Disney Instagram account if you guys want to go there and check out like some of the highlights. I'm going to be posting a lot of things. The really quick rundown is that Fantasyland and the castle was so beautiful. We're going to head off to Barcelona next and then we're going to do the cruise. in barcelona oh my gosh okay first of all you have to see this hotel room do you see this view 
that we're working with. Oh my gosh. I feel like the train was long. It was from, we left approximately like 9.45 and we got here like 4.30. Honestly, I felt like it was a, a mix of like taking naps and just relaxing. I didn't end up doing like a lot of things on my phone like I thought I was gonna do. Like I thought I was gonna like, oh my gosh, we're gonna have so much time to edit and you know like organize all my photos and videos from london and paris and disneyland paris and i just like didn't end up doing any of that instead just ended up just kind of browsing on my phone the whole time the only thing i did manage to do was i managed to pay rent because a new rent was due and i was like okay let me just do it right now so that was like the only thing that I did successfully manage to do that was like on my list of, okay, I think I'll get to this. Anyways, we're here. Our hotels in London and Paris were so small. The hotel rooms in New York seem also fairly small. So it kind of reminds me of that. But this hotel, honestly, it's just so nice. It's so big. And honestly, again, I just love this view. We are like right here. The hotel is Hotel 1898 and it's in La Rambla. And like right down below me is literally where like everybody is. It's like where everything's happening. The hotel's 1898 is actually um, commemorating the year that Cuba and, and the Philippines declared independence from Spain and thus kind of, I guess, then officially ending the Spanish Empire and the location where this is at used to be like the headquarters for like this Philippines tobacco company, I think. And so it was kind of a cool like to be able to look look at that and be like, oh, okay, yeah, Mikhail is half Filipino. So I was just kind of like, okay, kind of fun. I'm so excited to be here. I'm going to unpack a little. We obviously are here today. Um, we're going to be here for all day tomorrow. And then the next day, we are gonna be basically heading our way to the port for the Disney cruise, which is like the big second part of this vacation. But I just kind of feel like there's something about honestly, like being in a very nice hotel room and just kind of feeling like, okay, I can kind of relax a bit. Cause the other parts of it kind of reminded me of like, this is like your taste of European New York, which is really fun because we don't live in New York anymore. And so I kind of feel like, Okay, it makes me feel like I'm back and it was very exciting, but honestly, my version of vacation is like I want to lounge around and relax, not like I want to go super crazy. And so sometimes, in my opinion, like New York isn't really like where I would go for vacation if I didn't live there. Besides now, because like I would go back to New York at any time in a heartbeat because I miss it there. But anyways, I'm going to unpack and I don't think I'm going to shower, but I'm definitely maybe going to change. I feel like I packed a change of outfit, but I don't remember. Um, really wanted to be a lot more chill though. I need to drink so much more water. I didn't really drink wa that much water on the train. So excited to be here in Barcelona. I've always wanted to come to Barcelona ever since Cheetah Girls 2 aired, you know, like when we're in high school. Cheetah Girls 2 was in Barcelona. So ever since then, I was like, oh, Barcelona looks fun. I want to go. So yeah, it's been on my list and I'm excited to finally be here. Went to go eat dinner and our waiter was from Morocco and he actually at the end he asked, he was just like, oh curious, she's like where you guys are from. You know, we told him Mikhail's half Filipino, half Pakistani, I'm from Taiwan. He was like, oh, you can kind of tell he's from Morocco. He mentioned he was from Morocco because we asked if the paella had pork in it and found out traditionally paellas are not ever made with any pork and then they're usually also made with rabbit too which we realized and discovered of course it wasn't as like he asked at the end and we were just like oh yeah you know and then so then he was like okay yeah so no alcohol for you like at the end like the little complimentary drink it's a very fun experience right and after we paid or mikhail said thank you in arabic and i think he really liked that and just it was a very fun and nice interaction i think we've really really enjoyed 
talking to so many people here. I feel like everyone has been really, really nice. So it was a great, great dinner experience. Really, really enjoyed it. Gonna go eat some dessert and we're gonna go home pretty much after, even though it's like so bright outside, but it's like 9 p.m. So. in Barcelona we are we just ate brunch really good place oh my gosh I had this creamy egg that was just to die for and we're on our way to find this place and we're gonna go see the flamenco show
is Saturday, I think. This is our last time in Barcelona. We are headed to the cruise port and we're gonna get on the Disney cruise and I'm so excited. It's like my favorite thing to do. There's two types of vacationers, people who love like doing all this stuff and like running around and that's Mikhail, but I'm more like a, I want to go on a cruise and just relax kind of a person. So I'm very excited. And if you want to also see what we did on the cruise, I think I'll put that in a separate video. But um, I had such a great time in Barcelona. I think it's, there's so much to this city that I feel like, I don't know. It's just, it feels very vibrant. Also kind of helps that the weather's been so much nicer compared to when we were in Paris, which was honestly a bit of a downer. It's like we had like, maybe half a day with nice weather in Paris and then that was just done. We also got nice weather in London too, so I don't know if that like colors my perception of it. I've really loved all three cities that we've been to so far. I still think that London is my favorite. I'm so excited. We are basically all packed and we're gonna go head to the cruise. <laughs> 